This is my fourth video on the series of landscapes. This video is divided into two parts and this is the first part. My previous videos in this series emphasized on learning the fundamentals of art along with some basic tips which a beginner must know. In this video you will learn some artistic ways of painting a landscape and a different way of painting a tree. You will also learn to paint a realistic house. I'll suggest you to paint along with me and pause the video whenever you feel the need for it. We'll start by giving a wash to our painting. Apply color on the top and as you move down the horizon slowly increase the value of water in the pigment until it merges completely with the white base of the sheet. If the color reaches in the perspective area, then just wash your brush, soak all its water in a cotton cloth or tissue, then rub it against the paper in this way. This will remove excess color from the horizon. Now add a second layer to the sky. Make sure that the sheet is still wet in the perspective area. Now add spots of lemon yellow, shades of brown and shades of green for perspective. Remember that we are giving a wash to our painting, so the colors should not be very bold but faded. If the sheet dries out then apply water in the area using a flat brush and then add spots for the perspective. Now wash your brush and take a small amount of raw cyana in your brush and add strokes on the paper in this way. Make sure that the division line gets merged completely in this process. Apply sap green mixed with lemon yellow near the house for the bushes. It is watery green and a part of first wash of our painting. Now wait for the painting to dry. Apply watery violet on the house. For this painting, I will be using a different shade of green. Mix emerald green with raw amber and lemon yellow in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 3. In this mixture, you can gradually increase the ratio of raw amber for a darker tone of green or increase the ratio of lemon yellow for a lighter shade. I am starting with a darker tone of green. Carefully observe the movement of brush while making the tree. Now I am using light tone of green for giving a light effect in the tree.
add bushes using emerald green and then slowly merge it with the ground. using raw umber to show the pigmentation of the ground. Now, observe carefully how I am adding textures on the ground. I am using round brush number 6 for this purpose. Use light shade of sap green which we prepared in the beginning for adding patches on the ground. I am adding a mark for the fences. Repeat the steps for these bushes also. Now add color to the ground. I am using raw umber for the foreground and then add strokes of burnt umber. Since it is an evening scene, the ground should be dark. I am mixing a little bit of light red in burnt umber for a reddish look of the ground. Now I am using dark tone of the green which we prepared in the beginning. Use the color picking method to show the impact of light on the ground. Just wash your brush, soak all its water in a cotton cloth or tissue and then move your brush like this, soaking the color of the sheet. This process is also done in strokes, that is applying pressure in the beginning and then gently releasing it. Now use a wet brush to merge the lines formed Darken the depth lines and add depth to the bushes also. Apply raw umber mixed with black. Now use watery part of this shade to spread it. Apply drops of burnt cyanide and spread it evenly in the area resembling the light effect. Use watery raw umber and spread it evenly and then apply raw umber mixed with black in the depth area or the shadow area. This color will be neither watery nor thick. 
also leave a white line for the division add lines of depth using raw umber mixed with black add these random lines and then merge it with water apply water here and then drag it backwards towards the depth area darken the door area but also have some area for the light effect add depth to the bushes and the area around the house use dry brush to add texture on the ground You can follow me on my Instagram handle. I try to interact with my audience through it and even got request for the galaxy painting video and the tree trunk painting in one of my interaction stories. I have uploaded the galaxy painting video and you can find the link in the description box. Using burnt umber mixed with light red. Add drops of raw umber. Now observe carefully how I will be adding texture on the ground. Through my interaction stories on Instagram, I came to know that there are many myths prevailing among the beginners. One of them was about the materials, about which I have already discussed in my galaxy painting video. The other one was how to start with watercolors. I think the best way to start with watercolors is to work on A5 sheets at first and then try to imitate other artists work. But self exploration is also very important. If you check my feed on Instagram then you will find that even I try other artists work and I always paint it at least 2 times. When you imitate an artist work twice then you automatically learn their techniques. In this observation plays a very important role. You need to observe the artist brush movement while painting and the number of layers he add in his painting. They mostly add three layers. First wash layer for the light tone, second layer of middle tone and the third layer of dark tone for depth. cover the sky area and add splashes on the ground to make it look more realistic add more details on the hut Now add fences using raw umber mixed with black. Use a fine brush for this process.
add the shadow of the fence using deep persian blue Now add the tile of the roof and add depth at the back of the house. 